try again. Let's get tight. Automated driving technology activated. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Please subscribe to Big Two Country Boy YouTube channel. Like and click the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi everybody. Today we're going to build sides on this truck so we can get more in it hauling wood. My local Lowe's, these are fence pickets. They're $1.19 a piece. It's the cheapest lumber you can buy right now with all these high prices. And uh, the idea is these are going to go on something like this. All the way up, all the way around. And uh, if you ask or look around, these are usually free at Lowe's. This is made out of laminated plywood. These are called kickers or dunnage. They go under the lumber so that the forklifts can pick them up. And there's a groove in here that's about one inch by five eighths. Now you need two of these nice ones for the back for the tailgate for with grooves. Other than that, it doesn't matter. And most pickup trucks they slide right into the pockets on the truck. I've altered them in no way. They fit right in. It's worth having the job last. Those black screws and uncoated screws don't last. These are guaranteed for a hundred years or a lifetime. If you look at my video installing the solar when I tore down an old fence here. There were screws in there that looked just as good at ease as good as these when I took them out, and they were 10 to 11 years old. Put your screws on an angle. You put them in straight, they pull out easier. Now, according to 
this, that's got to go over. Got ahead of myself. I need to install some. These screws are a little too long. I should have some about a half inch shorter. They're poking through the back here. These are the length that they are, six foot and a quarter inch. They're actually a quarter inch short, but I'm going to make it work because it's cheap. to do it though.
We'll get her now. I got my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, busted cutoff wheel. Uh, I gotta go get another one.
I'm not drawing or anything with the torch. It's just the way it is. It burns unevenly. Part of the wood grain blackens quicker than the rest. See, I can go around in a circle and do it. So anyway, I got these brackets here to reinforce this. It's been a couple weeks since uh, I worked on this. I actually used it once and hauled a load of firewood home. The weather went bad and it was getting dark. The last time I worked on it, so I had to call it quits. beginning they can be very awkward because everybody wants to mash the trigger and put it in a screw lightly and strip it out but if you watch the proper way to do it is you push in start your screw you push real hard on the screw and real slow on the trigger so I'll do it again push the screw in so it goes into the wood to start the threading and keep pressure on there hard as you can without doing one of these and squeeze the trigger easy and then don't keep going when you hit the end stop when you get to the end you keep going you're just going to strip the hole out and the screw ain't going to hold nothing it's all right if you leave your heads out a little bit like this at least you know your screws are threaded good keep going <clears throat> so now what I got figured is I use these channels here, these boards. This is called dunnage or kickers. They go under lumber when you buy it and then the strap goes through here and straps the product like the lumber onto this. And um Sometimes they sell them for a dollar. A lot of times they're in the garbage can. You go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you ask them, they'll give them to you. And then um, these are actually pressure treated fence pickets. They're only two bucks a piece. It's the cheapest lumber on the planet. I got them at Lowe's. And I cut these down. I bolted this in for reinforcement. And then the way these work is they slide in here. And this is our removable tailgate. The other thing I did is I drilled these eyelets out and I put these on. 
Then after you slide all these boards in, you just hook a ratchet strap from here to the bottom side on the other one and then crisscross them. And that helps hold everything tight here so these boards don't come out on you. And then I put this board in here, screwed it fast, just to reinforce this so they don't slap all over if you want to do something without a tailgate. Now, this board inside here comes all the way down and goes into the pocket on the truck. I bought these metal plates and I screwed them in here and I screwed them into this one. These will wiggle a little bit on that metal plate and that's just to help you with this because wood swells and shrinks, you know. So that just helps you with this tailgate maneuver. So, over here, I already burned all this with the torch. Looks nice, don't it? I've reinforced the middle left and right side with another 2x4. Now this is a 2001 short bed. It only has two holes on each side, one in the front, one in the back. A long bed or another make, make pickup truck probably has a hole here, this truck don't. So what I did is I just screwed a two by four on the back and that took the middle bow out. And it's pressure treated two by four also. Now I'm not making these stripes, that's the grain of the wood. It's got like different sugars and starches in part of it. And it just makes it burn that way. Some burns faster than others. I think I might run out of uh, propane in this bottle. I might have to refill, it. refill this bottle back up from the big tank. So uh, we'll be back in a little bit here to show you the finished product. You don't want to watch me do all this for two hours. So we're getting close to finishing up here. How's it look? Looks good, I think. If you look at my other video, how to vacuum seal a five gallon bucket, my other prepping video, um, there's a wall in that room that's behind me with the wood stove and I use this technique all that lumber on the wall is old pallet boards which was free lumber and then I just all I did to it is I burned it it looks very beautiful I like that wall They come out really good. I like this knot work.
Now that you can haul twice as much or so in your pickup, you better be careful not to overload it. I hope this helps somebody out and get a little more use on the homestead with your pickup truck or whatever you want to use it for. It's especially handy when you're hauling a lot of stuff around like brush and leaves and firewood. But uh, until next time, Big Jim Country Boy over and out. Hey everybody, Big Jim Country Boy here. Check out my new t-shirt. Displays my big giant hot dog I cooked over a campfire. Isn't that beautiful? I got a bunch of other shirts you can check out. Coffee mugs and sweatshirts, hoodies and everything. I'll leave a link down in the description to the uh, merch store. Until next time, Big Jim Country Boy, over and out.